Want to see something cool? Sometimes nothing is everything, but the less you're trying to achieve, the more of a pain in the ass it can be. Down here on the surface of our pale blue dot, we're constantly crushed under the weight of a 6,000 mile deep ocean of atmosphere right above our heads. There's almost 15 pounds of air pressure crushing every square inch of your body right now. Air is so thick that every breath you take is made of billions of molecules that together weigh about half a gram. Making a hole in that is a monumental pain in the ass. Ask anyone who's ever worked in HVAC. Nature hates a vacuum even more than your dog. A vacuum pump is easy. Suck a bunch of air in one side, push it out the other. You can even do it with this magic stick that actually uses compressed air to make a vacuum. Here's a little vacuum pump I use for simple things around the house. Clearing drains, cupping torture, small oil changes, clitoral engorgement, the usual. But the more particles you remove from a space, the harder it becomes to remove the remaining few. Think of it like emptying a room filled with sand. You start by scooping it up in a bucket, and then you need a shovel, then a broom, then tweezers. It gets exponentially harder as you go. Eventually, you stop sucking the air out of the chamber, and you have to just bat the individual molecules down the pipe one at a time. And that's where we get this fucking thing. This is a turbo molecular vacuum pump, and it's got some kick-ass features. First off, if you just turn it on right now, it'll destroy itself faster than a junkie winning the Powerball. They only operate under a vacuum, and you need a more basic pump to get you there. We call that a roughing pump, which sounds like after hours at the glory hole. Here's my roughing pump. It's too fancy for the filthy things I do with my suction rig. Normal air is way too thick for these thin little turbines spinning at Mach Jesus. It'll actually make this rip itself apart in seconds. The second feature is that where every other pump works on valves and displays a volume of air, this one is wide open. There's no valves or pistons or anything. It's just a stack of fans and a pipe, remarkably similar to a turbojet engine if you chose to make it out of fucking tinfoil. You can just move air right through this. There's no seal. It operates by smacking individual molecules down the tube one at a time. It takes a hell of a lot of work to get down to nothing. People get whole PhDs designing clever new ways to do it with ion pumps and cold traps and all manner of magic and miracles. But a simple TMP gets you about as close as you can easily get for most applications you're ever going to practice practically need, and that's pretty cool.